Hi guys, it's the Queen. It's my Talk To Me Tuesday for May 8th, 2018. I don't know, I always know the date until I get ready to say it and then I forget. I only have two things to show today. I did get all the pieces cut and started sewing some of the uh, clutch for my mom for Mother's Day. It uh, has those backwards machines and the jumper pieces, remember? Um, it came out pretty slick looking. I like it. Um, I'm going to recycle this in lots of ways. The long hem that was on there, this is going to now become the uh, shoulder strap for the purse because it's my mom's four, not even five feet tall. So this will be a nice long strap for her. And I just have to put the cla the clip lobster things on the end. I'm so technical with my names. I know, I'm sorry. And uh, also, there were two ties on the back of that jumper. So I'm going to utilize these, maybe not in this clutch, but in another one. Or I figured I could go ahead and make it be the handle for if she wanted to just use it as a clutch and not have the long strap so that she could have the versatility of having to carry it two ways. I got this far because I was waiting on some zippers I ordered from Amazon. I got a whole bag of zippers. There's a bunch of colors. I'll put a picture up here. Um, let's see, five of each. There's 10 different colors. So that's 50 zippers for like $8, $8.99 to be exact. Um, there was no tax. There was no shipping because I am a Prime member. I ordered them Saturday, late Saturday, right before midnight. And they arrived yesterday. As promised, they're two-day shipping. But uh, the only drawback is they don't have like the cutesy colors. They have the basic colors. I would have loved for there to be some purple, some a lighter green, orange, a light blue that would match. So I'm going to probably have to go with red for the zippers for my mom's clutch because white would just stand out a little too much and black is too, too dark. I also ordered snaps. It's a hundred set. So there's 400 pieces in here. I need these for parts of the wallet. The, the clutch takes three snaps. I don't always put them in there. I only put one snap in other than the magnetic closure snap. But I noticed that on my daughter's, on the Deathly Hallows, that it does not stay closed when she has the flap over it. So it's supposed to have uh, snaps in the corners to help it stay close. So I will use that for my mom's. And I'll go back and put some on Kennedy's. I took an old shirt from my son and uh, repurposed it into this nice little jacket for Jackson. Now on the back of the shirt, it said had a big number three. And on the front, it said Dav it said Blue Devils basketball. And I wanted to keep that because the Blue Devils is our school, is our high school. My kids and I all graduated from the high, same high school. And um, Jackson will be homeschooled. So maybe by high school, he'll go there. We'll see. But anyway, I wanted to keep the, the main pieces. So I used his jacket as a pattern. I kept that number three for one of the sleeves because I didn't want it to be, it was, it, it was a really, it's a really big three. And that was the only logical place to do it. Just like a decorative, you know, how some shirts like this have something on the one sleeve and not the other. The, um, the neckline like this from the shirt, I just cut the whole thing out, trimmed it down real close. And I use that as the, um, the wristbands of the shirt or for the sleeves so that uh, I didn't have to worry about trying to fashion something out of um, for that or to just give it a nice fitted look. Um, the hood 
was made from the bottom of the of the front and it it has the casing already built in so that all I have to do is put the shoestring in or whatever string we use to make it be uh, tie it for him <clears throat> and the back of this is the front and I made it have a little decorative scoop back so it hangs longer in the back than it does the front. When we were shopping, I noticed a lot of the little boys' hoodies and jackets had that look to it. So I figured hmm, that's, you know, that's the best way to keep the whole name of the shirt intact was to make it a little bit longer. I did make an error. I started sewing this on the singer and did the scoop for the neckline and I forgot oh shoot it was a straight stitch and I needed it to stretch so I had to stop and then switch to the brother machine and do the rest with uh with the stretchy stitch then I was like yikes that's not gonna stretch to fit over his head so that's why it's split down the middle and I will fold these pieces over and utilize the snaps that I purchased. That way, it'll we can at least snap it a couple times just to keep it from falling off of his shoulders. Um, but this is more of a sentimental thing because it's made out of his uncle's shirt. It is a very well-worn shirt. It's very soft. And uh, it's just a nice going to be a nice lightweight jacket for him to have when like like today it's chilly out but it's going to be 80 some degrees later so he'll just have something for him on his arms to keep him uh, protected while the weather hasn't got to the temperature that it's supposed to be that's I think that's all I have for today anything else oh I'm sorry my I haven't been going to the Cairo, so my allergies are acting up. I hurt my uh, my my shoulder and my arm uh, about a week or two ago doing some yard work and didn't even realize it. But then I thought about why is it still hurting? Because um, I have muscle strain. I found out when I went out on the weekend to do some more yard work and it flared up. And I was like, okay, this is what happened. So I'm trying to rest it as much as I can, which is difficult during daycare and picking up jacks. But I'm doing the best I can. Hopefully, um, I'll be all healed in another week or so. It's very uncomfortable, but I'm making it. I want to take the moment to tell you all Happy Mother's Day. I hope you enjoy your day on Sunday. I'll probably be doing something special for my daughter since it's her first Mother's Day. I don't have anything else to show. So um, I'm going to end here and go out and get a nice morning walk in before the girls get here. Hug the ones you love. Stay crafty and have a great week. Bye.